We are across live to our report in the northwest, Salwane Kakao. Salwane, thank you very much indeed for your time. What has been the reaction of Professor Mohoro's appointment as the new premier for, for the province? How have people received this latest development? Well, so far, good morning. Uh, so far, what we are getting really on the ground is uh, positive uh, thumbs up. Um, we've spoken to ANC Alliance partners. They were saying that even though um, his name was brought forward by the Provincial Executive Committee that is led by former uh, Premier Supra Mahuma Pelo, they are absolutely confident that um, he, will be, he will be bringing uh, changes uh, to the Northwest Province, that he will turn things around and that he will bring stuff ability and deal with uh, issues of corruption and maladministration. Yesterday we also spoke uh, to different opposition parties, uh, the DA saying that um, they are wondering if uh, he will be able to deal with the factions that are there within the ANC and also saying that they're going to give him a chance, they're going to give him a uh, hundred days in office after which they will then say what uh, they make up of um, um, his administration. Then, then we also also spoke to the EFF and they were not also being so positive. They were saying that um, it's not really going to bring much changes for the Northwest province and the people of this province. But to help us unpack this, we're going uh, to chat to a political analyst from the Northwest University here in Mahikeng. His name is Dr. Oshu Beng Maseng. Doctor, tell me, um, Professor Job Mahoro, Mohoro, rather, he is uh, the incoming premier of uh, the Northwest. We know that this is somebody who has uh, public, a master's degree in public administration. This is uh, somebody who has been a director general in this very province. And he's also been a director general for the South African Management Development Institute. How can or can the ANC and people of the Northwest be confident um, for his leadership? No, on the basis that he's a former public servant uh, who's uh, well known and uh, well respected for his work in the province, uh, there can be a little bit of development of confidence in the man. But the reality is that uh, it doesn't mean that the ascendance of Job Mokoro as a very staunch public administrator as a premier of the Northwest will just bring solutions of uh, pol all the political challenges and service delivery challenges of the province to an end. It is going to take some time. And I don't think he'll be having enough time since well we are just months before elections you'll have enough time to actually deal with the, all these challenges in a sustainable manner and you, you must bear in mind that there will also be challenges of who does Job Mokoro really account to which faction does he really account to and at the same time does he account at national level or does he account at provincial level? You must bear in mind that uh, uh, at the end of the day, again, uh, 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 premier, the former premier, Supra Mahumapelu, is still uh, the current chairperson of, of, of uh, the provincial executive committee. Therefore, in a nutshell, uh, Job Mokoro would still need to account uh, 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 to, to the current PEC and would still need to get political mandate from the current PEC, which to me is like old wine in new bottles because Job Mokoro would still represent the face of the current PEC. He has led the, by the pre, uh, pre, former Prima Super Mauma Pelo. Okay, and then when it comes to the issue of factions, which no doubt they have been factions within the ANC, particularly in this province. I mean, we've seen other people supporting former Premier Supra Mahoma Pelo saying, um, hands off Supra, while other people, especially alliance partners, were saying he must go. Do you think he'll be able to deal with those factions and, and make uh, the ANC to be in a better position for next year's elections? Look, the unfortunate thing is that uh, the only contributing factor or on the part of Job Mokoro is to focus on issues of governance uh, to ensure that the ANC-led gov government delivers to uh, the Northwest uh, population in general. But when it comes to dealing with political faction, it's going to become very difficult because remember, he's not part of uh, uh, the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC, nor was he part of the Revolutionary Council and all these other factions that existed. So, he has no place in the political mingling of the ANC. What he needs to do in order to rescue the ANC as a member of the ANC is to solely focus on issues of public administration and all issues around service delivery as uh, the protesters were against that. Yeah, And then another issue, as you mentioned, that we know that this province has been placed under administration with that intervention by the interministerial task team. Do you think this will also help to make his job a little bit easier or more difficult? Uh, 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 you know, 
sometimes it depends. I think w what he needs to do, because remember, uh, this uh, ministerial task team, amongst the, the issues that they have to deal with or investigate is corruption-related issues. What, what he needs to do is to actually ensure that whatever there's a smooth sailing effect on, on, on the part of the ministerial task team, whether on issues of governance, whether on issues of corruptions, he is one person who's who must not leave any stone unturned on the basis of uh, his credibility and his credentials as a public servant. Now, I think they brought him in uh, in order to ensure that there's that kind of lubricated uh, cordial relations between those that are remaining in the provincial government and the ministerial task team that uh, is deployed to the northwest. Okay, and the last uh, thing I want us to talk about is the choice, the, the choice that has been made that um, the, pre the Premier-elect for the Northwest is Professor Job Mohoro. There were many names that were brought forward and many of those were rejected. So you, in your, in your opinion, is he a suitable person, the best person for this job? I, I would not necessarily say he's, he's the best person for the job. What, what I would say is that uh, 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 for, for the survival of the ANC and in order to appease all the factions and the alliance partners in the ANC, particularly in this province, uh, he's sort of like a compromise candidate because if you observe, uh, all these other names that were submitted before were rejected by the alliance partners and many other uh, 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 factions within the ANC. However, when it came to Job Mokoro, it, it seems that uh, it appears that it's just thumbs up for him. So. Uh, he's, a, he's a good compromise candidate because it appears that he, doesn't, he hasn't faced any rejection from the alliance partners and any factions within the ANC. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that was a political analyst from the Northwest University here in Mahigeng, Dr. Oshu Ping Maseng. And he was telling us that um, although uh, they have um, already um, uh, uh, elected um, uh, Professor Job Mohoro as Premier elect for the Northwest Province. It remains to be seen how that will go, his administration, his leadership, of course, as time goes. What we know also at this point is that around 10 o'clock he will be elected now as a Premier for the Northwest, and that will then be followed by him being sworn in as a Premier of the province. So the development we got last night is that um, former Premier of this province. Um, um, Supra Mahumapilu resigned last night as a member of the Northwest uh, Provincial Legislature, making room and space for um, Professor Job Mohoro, and who was uh, also sworn in last night again as a. Uh, uh, as a member of the Northwest Provincial Legislature. So um, as it happens around uh, 10 o'clock, we will be crossing live from uh, that venue and we'll give you an update. Indeed, Selwane on top of things in the northwest there. Selwane Kakao uh, in the northwest bringing us, well, I guess it's going to be a, a busy day uh, in the northwest province. Uh, the swearing in ceremony taking place after uh, the election that's happening around 10 o'clock, as you heard from Selwane. And uh, while well, we're asking you uh, 